Okay. Milwaukee pallets. Milwaukee's here. A lot of Milwaukee's here. Oh boy. There's a lot of red. Right there. How many pallets are in there? Uh, five. Five? We still have more coming, don't we? Uh, probably, yes. <laughs> this is the first installment. <laughs> oh boy. What do you think, Ted? What do you think, Ted? What do you think? I'm gonna have some tools at my house. You have some tools? <laughs> There's a lot of tools, man. I don't know if we're gonna be able to sell all these tools. I at least need a drill. <laughs> I just okay. need a drill. I think we got a couple of those. Don't worry. It's gonna be one heck of an open house sale. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is a lot of freaking. Where the hell is this all gonna go? That electric pot gun. <laughs> hey, people need that. That's a solution for a reason. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Right. What? What are you saying my name for? Film it so we have an idea. We don't want any damaged Film it. toys. Maybe this one. Well, this one too. <laughs> <sighs> 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 Lift it, please disturb, check on it. You ordered one of everything. Remember when he said you ordered one of everything? Literally, one of everything. Listen, he did not buy the toilet auger, so he did not buy one of okay. everything. Okay, right. almost one of everything. Yeah, Fair enough. I was really disappointed in that not getting the toilet auger. We might need that. I need that because I'm having plumbing issues well, we can in, Well, we can inspect our toilet, though. Stop eating so much taco, the camera. Bell. I don't need any taco, though. This is only three so far. There's four. This one's a little binged up. You ready to blow this one? Man. No, I don't want to do that. That's how we're opening the video. I don't want to do that. You can build that throne. I ain't, I'll do some set design. I don't want to build crap. It's a lot of Milwaukee. It's I don't think I'm going to be able to afford all these parts that I want to take from this pallet. <laughs> that he's going to want to sell. Even with our discount? Yeah. <laughs> Man. It looks like... Wait, wait. Okay, no. I thought he was bringing out another one. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, five. Yeah, five. Yeah, no, no, no. I thought he was pulling another one from the back of the truck. I was like, wait, wait a minute. This is just phase one of more. Yeah. <laughs> that, that receipt list on the front? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it is. There is a lot of stuff. So, 12 pages. Make sure we have everything. Oh, my. Are we supposed to be 16 pages? Yeah, how do you know if we get everything? 18 pages? 12. Oh, 12. It's 50 online pages. 12, or is that just for this one? I think that's just for that one. Oh, no, is that just for this one? No. no. Can't see you of Milwaukee. <laughs> oh, my Can't word. Say. Can't leave this out here. That's... That's, some good money right that's here. not good. Uh, Ooh, this is the pallet that has what I want. The vacuum. M18 at vacuum. So that one right there. <gasps> Bryce. What? Oh, uh, sawzall. sawzall. Jeff, you cannot have a sawzall. You will hurt yourself. Oh, this is, dude, this is the palette. We got the sawzall, the sausage cock gun, <laughs> the vacuums. This is the palette. That's the one for us. I really want to know. A what fuel we're gonna surge do with kit. The sausage cock gun. So when my car doesn't turn on on E85, we have a fuel surge kit. I don't think that's what that's for. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Bryce, you want to know how many line items there was total? How many line items? 249. <laughs> total line Oh, I'm sorry. There was three items back ordered. We don't have the uh, quart cock gun, rocket dual power tower light, and the rapid starter kit. Whatever that is. I don't know. We're going to make an accent wall with all this red. No, we should have. Oh my word, dude. Let's find out where it's going to be. The heck. We don't have the facility for this stuff yet. I'm going to move the Civic out. A mountain of... We can't move the Civic out. Why not? Five pallets in the way. And a Mustang. We got a side door. 
Did I did I read Impossible. this right? He ordered twelve quarter impact impact driver For kits to sell. Oh, okay, okay. Some of these are to test, some are to sell. Okay. Anything with a 12 on it? I was going to say, I was selling. like, 12 of them? Do you really need 12 to test? All right, good morning. It's really almost afternoon. Uh, I had, um, let's see, what did I have this morning? So this morning I had my uh, strategic alliance group, which is my you know, business owner group. And then I had um, my... Uh, my psychi psychologist appointment, you know, so I had to do that to try to try to get sane. Uh, but what we're going to work on here today is I got to do some pressure washer testing, um, and uh, we also you saw earlier you saw Bryce uh, capture all the Milwaukee coming. But uh, I want to test the new 1622 TS total stop. Compare that to the 1322. Also got a new beloved. Sunjo SPX 3000 Extreme, which is the new take on an SPX 3000. The question is whether this is going to be any better than the SPX 3000. My guess is, you know, we'll see if um, it looks a little bit nicer quality. The gun and everything looks the same, the hose still looks the same. Uh, but I wonder if we're going to be able to tune this to make it work better for what we want it to be used for, which would be for washing cars. So we'll check that out. But I do want to go, I got, I got, the, got the shakes here, just too much awesome. And that, uh, I got this darn Milwaukee spread, holy crap. So we got a couple of, I got 10 items where we got like quantity of that I'm almost certain is correct. And then we've got one of basically everything. And there's some stuff that's still back ordered, so we'll kind of see how it goes. But yeah, this is going to be freaking crazy. So, also, I'm going to be shooting this vlog on the Sony ZV1, so we'll see how stabilization looks. I'm going to try 4K30. It doesn't do 4K60, so we're going to see how that does carrying this around vlogging today. And then. Um, um, I got the little grip thing for my hand. The problem is the screen is off the side, so if I look at the screen, it looks like I'm cross-eyed. Uh, so I try to look directly at the uh, lens here. But the autofocus is freaking awesome, so let's see how it does for everything else. Uh, we also got our Swiss Tracks pop tool from Gully's Garage. So he made these for us. So I got a couple hundred of them, I think. In here. Yeah, so I got 250 of these puppies. Uh, I think they're going to be 20 bucks for this little. It's kind of a homemade looking deal, but the idea is you take a tool, stick it in, and then I can pull up the tile much, much easier than trying to use a screwdriver or a paint can opener or something like that. So I can pop the tile up very quickly and easily figure out which tile is which. That's cool. So we're going to have these up in the store here. Probably have them up by the time you see this vlog. But that's another nifty little thing where all these amazing followers, all these people that make up the Obsessed Garage community create cool stuff like this. Alright, so we're going to shoot a video on the pressure washers. Make sure to go check that video out. Uh, but I do want to bring you along today and uh, kind of cue you in vlog-wise. I, um, I've almost got my computer set up, so I've got my microphone, Bryce wired uh, or um, wired in the Neutrik uh, XLR connections. Uh, I screwed up and bought the on-air version, so there's a little LED here, so we'll see how that works. Uh, but I've got to, in order to make it work, I'm going to have to drill a freaking hole in my desk. So this will drill in, and then that's what inserts into this little piece here. So, yeah, i got to work on that. So I had to bring this giant, uh, I don't know what size this is, one-inch drill bit in order to do that. And then we also got uh, some stuff for the Porsche. I drove the GT3 here, but the, 
the um, Durametric tool doesn't work on a 2019, so I punted that in the trash. And so I ordered these two off of Amazon. I just need something to tell that allows me to reset the light. And then we're also going to do a video on the mirrors. So, lot to do. Lot to do today. So here it is, the Sunjo SPX 3000 Extreme. I'm a, I have a feeling it just has more pressure, which doesn't do us any good. You know, so we're going to end up dialing it back, but we'll see what kind of flow we get. I think the other one, I'll, I'll go look up the specs, but I think the other one's got like uh, one and a half. So what I'm guessing is we're probably going to get less flow on these and more pressure, which doesn't really help us. But this is their newest version of the machine. And uh, so I'm going to test that. We're going to use the 1322. Uh, so that's going to be a separate video. We're going to do a video talking about uh, 1122, 1322, and 1622. are the different variants of the same pump. So that's the plan. Yeah. I'm really digging the new wheels. They're perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. People ask me, oh, why didn't you do PBS? Well, I think these look better. You know, I've never been a big Vossen guy, but it's my second set. I just love the style of these. You know, these were produced by Vossen for Tag Motorsports exclusively, so the offsets and sizing and everything is good. And then it's, it feels good to be back on Cup 2s instead of the, uh, the Dunlops. But look at the PPF. It's so good. That Aztec PPF is freaking awesome. I'm going to shoot a video tonight. I'm going to do a wash and talk. That's why I, I've driven it several times, got some bugs all over it and stuff, but I want to do the first wash and uh, give my assessment of uh, the PPF and Halo and all of that. And we need to do a uh, Crown Lift um, series, detailing series. I need to do that soon. So anyway, you can see our parking lot is pretty jam-packed with people these days. I don't want to get in trouble with a fire department. Right. Kick, kick. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, so we got some tire dressing. We finished the, the tote, so this is what we have left. So we got to get another tote ordered. And building some wands. Today is uh, Lewis's birthday, so I think everybody's having some cake. If you haven't seen, if you're not a member inside the hex, we made some significant changes to the picking and packing area. So you see we have the three packing tables now. And then also there was a whole lot more humans. A whole lot more humans. And then we moved our old packing tables into here. So doing packing in here. And of course Chris's office is still here. So we're getting close. Our uh, out of stock stuff is very small pile. It's starting to get thinner. We're almost caught up. Now we can start to do inventory, uh, inventory count. I notice we've got four packaging or tape machines. Or we had one for the... <laughs> up to this point. So that one machine has done it all. Small piece. Okay, here's a quarter of the pie. <laughs> Ted, you want to go to the gym today? <laughs> Come on, it'll be your last day. It'll be your last workout. I got it. Oh, yeah, my last one. Yeah, you're supposed to be off today. Yeah, no, I got to do a wash and talk tonight. Anybody else out in Moran right now? Uh, so he can't go to like. He went to Summerfield. Is Lewis making it or is he dying? He's doing all right. Hey, we've only done two workouts. Yeah, I think I, I think I want some lemon too. That don't record I don't like the meringue part though. It it tricks you. It's <laughs> my new camera. I'm just testing it out. Yeah, well. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> you get a better sense of how many humans we have now. Come on. I feel like we're missing somebody. Hopefully, I don't get you right in the front or the back? Yeah. Got a little dirty. Got like a whole streak running down your side here. Are we on? Yep. All right, so I got this a tell, owl tell, little dongle. Uh, the Carly one that I use for BMWs doesn't work on this car. And so the problem is 
got the darn oil light. It says change, change your oil. I already changed my oil. There we go, green light. Put the key in. Remember where the key goes. And then probably do hazards to keep the ECU active. So now let's do this. What? Or do they the relevant software? I need this. Daniel Price, you said this was gonna work. Rin list. They lied to me. I don't know. Just give it a minute here. Blue usually means Bluetooth. God dang, I'm getting hot. So you can get in the car where the shade is and you won't be hot. Dang it. It's not too easy to get in and out of this thing. So I'll wait this now. OVCI connected. <sighs> Listen, if you figure it out, it's worth not going to the dealership. You want me to figure it out? You can go inside and do your thing. Because you're going to get aggravated with it. I can already tell. Yeah, it doesn't freaking work. Okay. Let me see if I can figure it out real quick. Okay. All right, here we go. We're gonna unbox all this crap, or at least just touch and feel everything. I don't know what, it's already four o'clock. I don't know how much what can get done here today, but I'm gonna think we're gonna do a live stream. Yeah, so anyway, we finished up the pressure washing project, tested these, so I'm gonna sell these suckers. By the time you guys see this video, these will probably be sold already. I'm gonna post a picture real quickly. But yeah, it's time to, Time to unbox in Milwaukee. I'm gonna do a live stream. Whew, deep breath. Yikes. All I have to say is, yikes. This isn't even all of it. So, we are gonna work through all of these one at a time, all the way through from start to finish, figuring it all out gonna be pretty insane so we just did a live stream these are all the ones in quantity that we're stocking there's a bunch more in quantity that we're stocking uh, a bunch more things like skins for the tools we drop them I'm gonna figure all that stuff out yeah that's what it looks like <laughs> nuts check this stuff out so I got some nuts and more I bought just like my Milwaukee purchase. I bought uh, one of every flavor they make and some samples. I got some birthday, it's like protein heavy peanut butter. But uh, anyway, I'm out of here for today. Uh, I'm gonna head over to the back to the house, kind of see what we're into. I want to show you what's going on with the home theater while we're at it. But uh, yeah, what a day, man! What a freaking day. <sighs> I thought I didn't have anything to do today. Well. I did. We did the pressure washer stuff, Milwaukee stuff. Um, I had you know multiple meetings this morning, uh, but let me take you home and show you all what's going on with the home theater stuff. Okay, so here's the plan. You know it's about seven o'clock at night, so the guys are gone. Notice all of this stuff, and one of my plans completely backfired on me. But 65 inch and 75 inch uh, LCDs are going outside. I'll show you where in a minute. Uh, but I've got some uh, B&W AM1 outdoor speakers. And yeah, this backfired on me because the plan in this room was to do gun safe. But look at that. <laughs> Shoot. So I wanted to clean up all of this. I hate that so much. God dang it. So this is a strong rack so I needed to put a battery backup so I wanted to put a UPS backup in here and then of course the um, this is the dream machine this is where you know the wiring is for our speakers so this is where we'll be connecting our amplifiers will go in there there's uh, our wireless gateway and AP and then he cleaned all that up so that's closed but the plan was to put a gun safe right here there ain't no way that's going in there now. It's a friggin' monstrosity. 
Yeah, I don't love that. I don't love the fact that that looks like that. Dang it. I really hate that. I really should have been here for this. Because it would have made more sense to take that box and mount it on the back wall than if it was going to look like this. I just don't know if we had enough wire to extend it that far, so that's probably why I had to put it there. So then, let's see how the Sony does in dark. I don't know if they've done these yet. Yeah, so these speakers are coming out. Those speakers are coming out and being replaced with some B&W in ceilings. And then out on the pull deck. So that system in there feeds the pull deck. And so I'm gonna have to have them change some of the speakers out here, but, or fix how they mounted it. Doesn't make any sense what that dude was thinking. So there's a speaker up there, but he hid it behind the darn pillar. And I can see the hole. The speaker needs to come down a foot and a half. So then, then I've got, the, so these are the AM1s up there, replace those crappy bows. So these are gonna probably sound pretty darn good out here. And then we're actually gonna mount a TV to the front of this. Uh, so we're gonna pull out that stupid uh, plasma that's in there and they're gonna build some sort of reinforcement so that the, so that the display can mount right there. Uh, and then we're putting a 65 on that wall. So you've got speaker hidden up there. So we need to fix that. Speaker here. So these speakers are okay. So I haven't fixed that. I'm going to have them fix these too. Because the amount of these speakers hidden. Where they're not going to sound good. And so that needs to come down like a foot. What's the point of buying a thousand dollar pair of speakers if you can't freaking hear them? So anyway, this is going to sound and look pretty good out here. We're going to get a big giant table for out here. Um, but I decided to put a, you know, instead of OLED, OLED, put a big old 75-inch uh, LCD out here, which is going to work pretty well, I think. And then we'll be able to play it through the speakers out here, through the uh, Sonos uh, port. Sonos port, they call it. This room will stay the same, so nothing's changing in here. It'll just be the Bose lifestyle. We'll just continue to operate and function as normal. Uh, the 70-inch LCD, I'm sorry, the 77-inch OLED from the home theater is coming in here and going in here. This display is going to go to the garage, into one of the entryways uh, for when you know, we move uh, media into the whole building and move distribution out. Then over here in the home theater, we're doing a projector. And so I'm doing a Sony 695ES, VPL VW 695. And then I'm taking out, this room's gonna sound much better than it already does, but I'm taking out this whole thing. We're gonna cut a hole in the wall and there's gonna be a strong rack you know, I don't want that rack sticking out like it did in the other room. But there's my Sony projector, a Revel stand, uh, and then, um, you know, the strong mounts and the rack and all of that stuff. So this room's about to change. All of my subwoofers are going to come up to the front stage. I'm likely going to get some JTR subs in the future um, to to fill the kind of the front. So I'm going to take the subs out of the rear and move them to the front. So... This in here is about to transform. So this display is going over next door. So that's the plan. So I've been going to the gym hardcore every single day. The thing that stinks is like I, I've gained probably a lot of muscle. I started taking creatine as well. And so I need a lot of protein. So I've been eating properly, but I gained like three or four pounds. I'm like 242-ish. Uh, even after the cleanse, I got down to 237, but I didn't lose a lot of weight because I started taking creatine and started working out heavy. And so I did about 11 days of the cleanse. And uh, so my workouts have gotten better, but um, my, I'm still chubby as crap. So anyway, I'm going to eat something for dinner. But today I'm, I'm not going to the gym. Uh, Michelle's not in town. Uh, Lewis from the from OG was, has, been, uh, has been coming, but today was his birthday. So uh, he went down to Orlando. So we're just decided to take a midweek day off, but I've been going, you know, five or six days a week, uh, cycling a lot too. So I've been uh, working out, I just haven't seen any results yet. This is what happens when you turn 40. 
I've got to really cut and, and uh, dial into my diet. I've wanted to eat because I want to work out hard, and so I need to find that, that combination. But uh, I've been working on it. But So today I'm, I'm skipping. The walkie came. The home theater guys I thought might have still been here. Uh, and and then, you know, my workout partner wasn't wasn't going. Either one of my workout partners were going, so I'm going to take today off, hit it back tomorrow. All right, everyone, that's a wrap for today. Just finishing up the Rogan uh, Jocko uh, Willink. Willink is uh, one of my new favorite humans. Uh, I've listened to him on the podcast several times, but gosh, if we're talking about The Rock for president, that would be pretty sick. Anyway, wanted to bring you along today, the new Sony camera, see how this thing does at 4K30. I'm going to edit it now, uh, so uh, I don't know if this is a short vlog or not, but regardless, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for your support, the gosh darn Milwaukee stuff. Yeah, and then if I can get a hold of the Hunter stuff, I had a good conversation with Hunter for doing uh, like Road Force tire balancer mounting, and I think I can do a lot for all these brands. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be sure to continue to update you. I do these vlogs all the time, you know, once or twice a week on Inside the Heck. So uh, go become a member if you want to be a part of it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, my uh, story of how I exited uh, wealth management is now live on the Inside the Hex. And so I know many of you have asked me, how did I make a transition from a career or job into a business ownership? And uh, so I tell the story from start to finish like two and a half hours or something like that, where I take you through the story on why and how and what I'm up to and all that stuff. So anyway, thanks for consideration on that and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. See you soon. Uh, pressure washing and all kinds of other videos coming up. Lots of Milwaukee videos. Thanks for, thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more great.